Hi right, guys, this is Mark Dickinson, Mark Dickinson Photography. I'm going to do a quick uh, organization uh, for Lightroom, how it works pretty good with, uh, with the computer uh, functions and organizing your files and folders. Uh, I always recommend doing it in Lightroom versus doing it in uh, any other program, like for instance, just doing it in Explorer. Then you have to do another step that actually makes you um, change all the file names or change the folder names and then sync them back up with Lightroom. So if you work in Lightroom, stay in Lightroom. It will uh, it will help you out a lot. <clears throat> but what we got here is we've got one folder that's moving. Uh, this one right here, you can see that it is going uh, at a pretty good rate. There's 1607. There was a bunch in there. Normally, what you'll do is you'll just take it, and we have a server that has all our photos on it external to the computer, and you will take that folder and drag it down in here to uh, let's see where it is. Weddings. Okay. And then once you drag that in there, it's going to drop in. You'll see this status bar up here, move, and start to begin its transfer. And when you come and look, you'll see that uh, this one has 340 images in it. It is slowly going, and that is the actual the location that it's taking you to is on the wedding folder within that section there, MDP storage photos, MDP 2010-1. So what it does is it brings those files, <clears throat> it brings your folder, it brings all your XMP data, it brings everything there versus having to go into uh, Windows Explorer dragging the photo or folder into uh, into the location that you want and then you got to come back in and go to Lightroom and, and update the folder location in here and it's just uh, it's just a headache to do it that way. You have to do here an update folder location and then try and hunt it down on um, on the particular location that you're working on. So we'll close that out. Uh, one of the nice things is if you are <clears throat> looking for a particular photo in in Lightroom, it really helps out. You can um, you can really find a lot of photos in here without having to search too far. If you have a relatively good idea where you think the photo is, like we're going to look for one in engagements, and simply all you do is press the Control F on your keyboard. Uh, there is another. I think it's photo and find. Let's see if it's in here. And it might even metadata and search. I don't see it in here, but the 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 easiest one for me. There it is. It's under library and control plus F. <clears throat> but once you do that, you're going to come in and we'll just type a a number one six one in there to see if I can get any uh, any photos to pop up. And when I search this, it is going to search all the photos. It's going to search text. And we will do uh, uh, make sure that it's any searchable field. <clears throat> and now you'll see that any searchable field will come up and, and pull up a, a 161. Uh, I don't know where this is pulling up 161 at, but it does uh, it does have the ability to, uh, to search, I guess, any metadata in there. Now, if you do file name, and now you're going to see that uh, that these, if it contains, it contains all. You'll see that this one has 2161. This is number 161. This is number 1618. And any photo that has the number 161 in it will be found. So if there is something that you know in particular, like if uh, if it was a DSC prefix, and you can see any of the ones that have a DSC in there and narrow it down to even more. The underscore, we'll do a 1 at the beginning and you'll see that all the photos with a 1 will pop up and give you uh, to 1, 2. Let's see if there's any 1, 2's. 1, 2, 3. <clears throat> Just for fun, I should narrow it down after this to 1, 2, 3, 4. And there may be nothing in there. So, DSC underscore 1, 2, 3 brings up 1, 2, 3, 9. 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 3, 0. So that's, uh, it is kind of useful and helpful there, but if you do have keywords in it, like uh, we'll do Ponce, which is a Ponce Inlet near where I live, you can see all the ones that have, um, if you do your keywords, have Ponce Inlet in here. And that will, uh, uh, that in our keywording, when we do our, our file name, we do it very descriptive. And that will pull everything up for you and see it. It's pretty easy. That's how you do some organization and uh, the find button in Lightroom.